Okay guys, I am ready to start page number four. So this one, I'll just give you a quick peek of it. It's going to be this little fish guy right here. And then um, I am using that branch dye as kind of my seaweed. And um, so this is what we are going to be creating. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So I have a quite a bit of the 12 by 12 paper but I only have a very limited amount of the 8 by 8 paper so I had to do a little bit of paper stretching with some of it so I'm going to go ahead and adhere down this piece right here and I know it's probably frowned upon um, I guess in some ways to stretch your paper but I only, I, and what I mean by that is I photocopied it. I photocopied certain parts of it um, so that I could um, have certain things to cut out because I didn't have enough of the 8x8 to accommodate three minis or even two of them. So I had to stretch it a little bit. So not that I'm condoning that, um, but I'm just going to be honest, that's what I did. So on this one what I did was I cut out, I just fussy cut this guy, and he's one of those pieces that I did cut, or photocopy. And you'll notice that the little guy isn't on there and I actually just cut him off because my pages weren't tall enough to accommodate him. And that's kind of sad, but well, he's gone. <laughs> And then I am going to ink the edges. Now I know there's a lot of orange in this background, so I would technically lose the little fishy guy. But also, I wanted to use him as a tuck spot and his little, like that foot, I was like, um, no, that's not going to work for me. So I decided to use my little branch seaweed <laughs> and cut him Oops. and I like to roll it through twice just to make sure that it does cut with this precision plate I'm telling you game changer for these little Sizzix dies. Okay. There we go. So that comes out. And now this, I need to cut off the bottom too. And I do Oh no. Oh crud. That's what you get when you don't pay attention. <clears throat> okay, let's do this again. Shall we? Wasn't paying attention to what direction. I wasn't paying attention to what direction the, um, uh, what do you call it, 
the texture was facing. And that is the word I was looking for. And with this, you just want to make sure that you don't <clears throat> let it shift at all. There we go. Okay. And apparently, I'm just cutting this completely wrong. No, I'm not. I am a big dummy. Because I did some surgery on the other one. And I did cut this piece off. Then I did reattach it. There they are again, to this side, and that gives me a little more coverage. And then I used, the reason I forgot about that was because I used the little fish's tail to disguise that. So I'm going to set this off, actually I can't really set it off anywhere because I need this piece. <laughs> what I did was I kind of threaded the fishy. into. little dab of glue there I just realized how many times a day my dogs go out and argue well truly goes out and argues with the neighbor dog it is a monumental amount of times I can't believe she's not more exhausted than she is Goes like right about there, and I did glue these down like that. Oops. There we go. Let's go ahead and glue the back side. Glue the back side down. This piece. Go ahead and glue here and there just to give it a little more stability. Okay, now then this piece I glued directly into the corner, like there. Glued that. And then the, this piece and that piece. So I glued this piece here, this piece here, and then this I kind of bent down. And I just glued that to my finger. And then this piece I did glue up a little bit. Just 
just like that. And there is that. Now, next, we have a few things. Ugh, these ears are driving me crazy. And a couple more gold gears. Hoping to get away with not having to cut more. I'm running dangerously low on these because I did favor these a little bit more than The blue counterparts. Oh, I didn't glue that one down first. I put the gently take that apart. I will re glue it. But I do need. just don't want to glue this shut. And I kind of want to press that one, that one, and then this one is back by the tail. Put that in there. and glue that bottom piece down a little bit more. Give it a little more stability. I don't honestly remember if I did it with the last one. Um, okay, now let's go ahead and do sequins. One more. It was so Let's stick that down just like that. All right. This one will have one there. Put that down. And then we'll put a sequin over it. There we go. And just kind of lots of sequins. I need more sparkle. One more large one. 
So let's go ahead and grab a couple more large ones, put them in my little lid. There we go. And look at that sparkle. There we go. All right, let's set those off to the side. Now, I have to make a couple little tags, little tagaroos. So I'm going to set that off to the side for just a moment. Grab this. And this is another way that I am stretching my paper. I don't have enough of it, and I didn't have enough time to order another 8x8 pad to make this video before I wanted to come out. Once it's all put together, no one but me, well, and you guys now, will truly know. Now just in case anyone is upset, I did buy the entire collection. Um, which means I bought the 8x8, the 6x6, all the tags, all of the chipboard pieces, all of the, um, I bought a, the 12x12 pads. I actually bought 12x12 loose paper and all of that kind of stuff. So I did spend a good deal of money on um, the collection itself. It was actually I um, the same collection that um, I did in my recent giveaway. So it's not like I just bought one sheet and then photocopied it um, or anything like that. It's I just needed more of pretty much just a few little pieces. And um, yeah. Okay. Now I need to get that paper. Where is it? So I didn't measure these exactly. So we're looking at what size are these? So basically, okay, so two by two and five eighths. Okay, so This is going to be one seven eighths by two and a half. So one and seven eighths by 
two and a half. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and ink these as well. Apparently, did a little bit better on my measurements on those <laughs> than the ones before. Just inking all these edges. those cards or glue all the backs of them it seems to go a little bit faster this depends on who you ask Tucking all of the extra. I like how this card turned out with the little mermaid kind of like right in the middle of it. Okay. Here comes the train. This one is obviously quite a bit snugger, but it's a little, it's okay. If I can just gently. Uh, oh, I just broke it. So, okay, let's put it back as if we never did that. well enough alone. Now, cover up that little boo-boo. Let's go ahead and grab a sequin. <laughs> There we go. One more mistake covered up. Okay. So I 
can see that there were a few things that I did in this one that I probably should have done, but well, you live and you learn, right? There we go. All right. There we go. That's all set. So that page is done. Okay, all right, let's get on to the next page. So I'm going to um, stop the video and I'm gonna get set for the next one. Be right back. Okay guys, I am back. I'm ready for this next page. Now this next page is this one right here with the little diver on it. It's got two little tags and they kind of, I used him as a belly band. Um, these are, that, we'll go inch and a quarter inch and a quarter so we'll do inch and a quarter on those you can see I used the um, what do you call it I used the um, gears um, as a frame kind of this was actually supposed to be on an acetate acetate piece and then it was just gonna kinda lay over it but that didn't work out so good so had to adapt it a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and let's get started on that. So let's go ahead and cut the pieces for my little guys. So and oh my gosh. Okay, just ruined that piece of paper. Let's pay better attention here. So, is that inch and a quarter or two? Let's measure it. So one and three quarters, Lord. Just need two of the black cardstock pieces. And I'll need that piece, that piece, four of the blue pieces. might just work for me. Nope. Okay. So those pieces are not going to work. Alright. So let's go ahead and just stomp dinking around. I get these cut. Correct. Right? Just under. Okay, so there are those pieces. Now this piece right here is one, since I already had that page, I already So let's go ahead and cut it out. I like this diver guy, but he's kind of freaky at the same time. I don't know. There's something about him. 
I like him, but it kind of weirds me out at the same time. Sometimes a little glue. Sometimes the little glue, the glue buggies come out. Okay. All right. So now, basically, this gets arranged around the outside kind of like a gold gold frame and I actually think I will not have enough. It's hard as I try. Maybe I will. Maybe. There's some more over there. And yeah. So I'm gonna call that good just like that. Um hang on guys, just a second, sorry. Sorry about that guys. Um my phone and I saw so interesting so I had a text message from my mom and I also had a text message from my mother-in-law and apparently one of our nurses who has um, four clinical days left still has a family emergency and she basically is quitting so now 
coverage needs to be figured out. It's always a fun time. And um, I'm going to just sit here and craft because, yep, that's what I'm going to do. That's just what I've decided. I will be the one to have to call students and tell them, hey, by the way, your instructor has an emergency and can't continue clinical with you. So your class is being put on hold until we can get coverage for it. Which is always a fun call to make. Not at all. And yeah. So that is my story. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this whole time I can't stop singing that song, the um the brandy song, you know, brandy. You were a fine girl. <clears throat> and it's just s stuck in my head. I can't. It just, it won't get out of my head. Um, so this whole time I've been making these mini albums. I've been humming that song. And um, <laughs> it's kind of driving me crazy. Should have it playing in the background now. really have like very limited choices of gears left. Oh, whatever. Did I? Whatever. I'll just fill that in with the blue one. That's what I'll do. So now I'm just waiting for a message back because I know that she had sent kind of a SOS to our other two instructors about possibly doing coverage. I don't know what they're... I don't have any of the paperwork here at home to see what their schedules are. And, um, yeah. So I have no idea. I'm just going to use that one. Put that one down. Like so. And then I'm going to fill in a little bit. Not necessarily fill in. But I'm going to um, add little pops of blue here and there to. Um, I don't know why to do something. There's a train. <laughs> Here, take the schedules back. That's pretty much how I had those. I'm just gonna take a closer peek. Feel like it needs something a little more right there. And let's grab that one. I 
Move this one there, and then that one there. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah. So I may have to pause this video again to figure out on a Sunday evening clinical accommodations. students. I really hope everything is okay with Stacy's family. I don't mean to sound cold or anything like that. It's just uh, it's so stressful when stuff like this happens. well and one of the other two instructors can just step in for her <clears throat> and that she can come back okay now I still am going to put some sequins on there but I'm going to did I I didn't ink those edges yet I'm gonna ink the edges of him ink the edges of these and then I'll assemble those and then um, I'll put the sequins on and once I put the sequins on I will then adhere the little um, diver guy so that um, I know exactly because I didn't want to adhere them too flat where the um, the cards can't fit in there because that's always the worst when you you know you work on something and then you go to stick in the other piece and you can't fit it because you didn't leave yourself enough of a gap so these I'm actually just going to use my art glitter glue for because they're really little and that ATG, although it is awesome, it is just probably too cumbersome for these. Plus you get just a slight amount of wiggle with these and um, with the way that I've done the matting, it'd be nice to have just a little wiggle. There we go. Some of these pages are coming together so fast. Uh, when I was doing this originally, it did not come together this fast. It was definitely, took me a lot longer to do the first two than this one. But again, when you're making, you know, when you're doing it and designing it all at the same time, you kinda, you know, oopsies. Um, it takes you a little bit longer. So I'm just going to go ahead and do some dots. It's a lot of sequins. Let's get them over here. Where's, where did I put my quick stick? That thing is, there it is, has been invaluable for this particular process with these sequins. Just stick them down. You're good to go. I 
it up. There goes the dishwasher, so I will have to unload it. This is a weird shaped one. It's like cone shaped, and I really don't, I don't know, there's something about that one I just don't enjoy. So, I've decided that this particular mini, actually I knew what I was going to do with it before I started. Um, this is going to go to someone um, very special, so I hope she's going to enjoy it. Um, I hope she likes the beach theme. I don't really know her too much. I just know that she's been very sweet and supportive of my videos and I just wanted to kind of get back you know um, she's just very sweet and yeah I'm not gonna say her name right now because I want um, her to receive this before I actually start this series before I upload well not upload but um get these out okay so this is gonna go here and then this goes I'm gonna just put a little bit right there, there go. And put these in like so And once it's nice and stuck down, I can trim off his feet, but now these fit nice and snug right there. Alright, so page four is done. I just think it's really cute. I like that page. So there's the one side we just did, the glittery sparklies. And then here is side number two of page four. Okay guys, um, thanks so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!